So I have a bit of a story for you guys. As of recently, a distant relative lost his firearms license for reasons I can't really get into. Five of those guns were just his, his hunting rifles, but one of those was actually my great-grandfather's P14, which is actually part of my collection, but I had lent to him for a time being. So now it's back, finally back in my collection after going through the whole police process and finally finalizing all the paperwork, I can finally take ownership of it again. So I thought I'd make a quick video showing you guys the firearms that he had that are gonna be passed down to me along with my great grandfather's P14. Starting with this, this is a Remington 783 chambered in 30 odd six with a Vortex Crossfire 2 three by nine scope. Uh, all of them will be missing the magazines and they'll all be trigger locked because they just came from the police station. This is a Savage B22. It's a 22 long rifle with a synthetic stock. Feels pretty nice. It's got a Weaver scope mounted. Nothing special. Next are two pretty basic guns. These are This is a Palace 12 gauge single shot that's been obviously spray bombed. Camo green and some speckled white. I'm not sure why. <laughs> And next we have a, another little Savage 22. This is a kid's model it seems because there's no way that this thing fits me. It was bright pink before that's been spray painted basically the same green camo color as the uh, single shot shotgun. Lastly we have my great grandfather's P14. This one is made by Remington. Has a beautiful Parker Hale aperture sight on the rear. And it actually has the volley sight, the front volley sight for suppressive fire. I'm very happy to have this thing back in my collection and I can't wait to make a quick short video with this thing in the future. Anyways, I just thought I'd share with you all of the guns that will be passed down to me. Hope you enjoyed this quick video and we'll see you later.